Hey, what's up guys? Office Hours, Coach Madden. Got a question on the Snapchat today from Alex Gas Tank Baseball. He says, I have a question. I really need us, I really need you to make a video about this. I got you. My question is, is it normal for your arm to be sore the next day after I pitch? My full name is Alex Pena. I'm 16, and if you can give a shout out to my school, Curry Condors, that would be great. What up, Curry Condors? Uh, thank you so much. You're welcome, Alex. Uh, is it normal for your arm to be sore the next day after you pitch? Um, yeah, you can be sore, especially if you're like a max effort guy, if, you're, if you have that intent and you're really getting after it, and you push yourself past the limit uh, in which would make you sore. You know, if you only threw a couple pitches and you're used to that, you might not be sore, but if you push yourself a little further with that max intent, you might be a little bit sore. Now, where do you want to be sore? If you're sore in your elbow or in your shoulder, Maybe that's not such a great thing. When I was pitching, I would get sore, really sore in my lat and in my butt. And when I was sore there, I always felt like that meant I was pitching well because that meant I was using my legs and my, my soreness wasn't in my arm, it was in my lat, which to me tells me that I was really whipping that arm and having to slow everything down at the end with my back. So I was always happy when that was sore, when the soreness moved up into my, if it up into my shoulder, I got a little worried, and I would look at some video, see what my my excuse me my mechanics were doing, if there was anything wrong there, um, <coughs> and try to fix it if there was. Um, but a huge thing, couple couple huge things that can help you with soreness that I very rarely speak about. Um, one is going to be eating. If you crush a lot of good food after a start. That's going to help you with your soreness, okay? So if you can eat a whole bunch, and this goes for workouts too, okay? I've noticed that the more I eat after a workout, and good stuff I'm talking about, not crap, but the more I eat after a workout, the less sore I am. Um, so that help those new, new nutrients that you bring into your body will help reduce that soreness sometimes. Um, also, recovery is huge. So after I used to pitch, um, I would like the that night or whatever I go for a run get it nice and loose and warmed up um, the next day I would go in do another run um, get some ultrasound some stem massage um, <coughs> stretch uh, recovery is huge when it comes to pitching and the more you can focus on recovery for your next start the better you're gonna feel the quicker you're gonna recover the less sore for, for uh, the amount of time of your soreness is gonna be a lot shorter so after you pitch Focus on eating really well and recovering. Focus on your recovery so that you can shorten that period of soreness and get ready for your next start. Obviously, if you're feeling pain or soreness in your shoulder or your elbow, you might want to take a look at your mechanics. Again, me personally, when I felt like I was doing everything right, I was sore in my lat and in my butt. So, I hope that answers your question. If you guys have questions, hit me on the Snapchat, John Madden 1882 or Instagram at YougoProBaseball. Um, don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't already. And leave me a question below and let me know where do you get sore after pitching and how long does that soreness last? Let me know. Leave me a comment below.